Uh, we're going to talk about ShopRite, which is the first one we will cover. They're the largest retailer in sub-Saharan Africa, focusing on discount sales of everyday items. It is led by CEO Whitey Basson. It has a market cap of 94 billion rand, a PE ratio of 22.57 and a dividend yield of 2.2%. So the PE ratio of 22, like you mentioned, mm. a lot of it is, is expected of this business mm. um, the, when, these co when this company re reported uh, results uh, in the beginning of the year, they did mention load shedding, a tough mm. environment. And they also mentioned the fall in the oil price in their big markets like Angola and Nigeria. That African story is the biggest for ShopRite. It's where a lot of their growth is mm. coming from. Going forward, is, is, is that where you see the business focusing more strongly? Yeah, looking at ShopRite, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, at a 22 PE, it's actually one of the, the cheaper in the sector, so it's, it's not particularly extended, but uh, I, I think there's good reason First time for, for a long time, because inherently it's always been very expensive. Yeah, it, it, has been, it has been inherently very expensive, but uh, yeah, looking at ShopRite, I mean, we, th we think that that valuation probably has come down because, you know, we're struggling to see where they're going to get their growth from. We also, we're also a little bit concerned about management's push for, uh, you know, new store expansion and market share and not uh, really focusing on those like-for-like -like sales uh, that's like-for-like -like sales growth so their current stores are perhaps looking a little bit soft you've already mentioned there the are huge risks now in Africa with a falling oil price uh, I mean they are by far the most exposed uh, I mean they, they're the only ones sort of across 15 countries mostly in Africa as well so you know ShopRite I mean if we, we look at our ranking models on it uh, you know it's actually it's actually going to be probably the one the the retailer that we like least Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, also in South Africa, in the South African market, focusing on the, the lower LSM, which we know is is under pressure. It, you know, the, the risk to to our outlook there is that you see a very strong recovery in the South African consumer. That obviously will feed into Shoprite, and you'll see you'll see the the earnings quality and, and the earnings improving dramatically there. I suppose though they are trying to refocus that Checkers brand and, and target a more middle class type consumer. Um, they've got nice deals with F and B where you get extra e bucks for shopping at Checkers. And when you walk into a Checkers, um, you know it, it does look a lot be better. It feels more homely. Mm -hmm. The products, the fresh fresh produce out there looks looks quality as opposed to the Checkers of the past. So they are sort of turning that thing around. I think mm -hmm. African sales are coming in at about just under twenty percent of the overall group mm -hmm. and only grew fifteen percent. Uh, last year. I mean, as we can see from the share price there, there's the sort of PE unwind in a negative mm -hmm. sense in that the share price, you know, hasn't done anything mm -hmm. since uh, 2013. Yet earnings have slowly increased and sales mm -hmm. have slowly increased. But I guess that 15% that growth in the rest of Africa number is what has mm -hmm. been disappointing in the market. Yeah, I mean, the 15% growth in the rest of Africa, I mean, ShopRite's been in, been in Africa for a while, but uh, I mean, it's still outperforming, uh, you, you know, the local the local market. So I'm not, not too disappointed with that 15% number. I mean, looking at that chart, though, you, you can see that, I mean, the share price is stagnating. I mean, we don't think that there's the particularly heavy downside risk, like, like you mentioned, that's the PE unwinding there. I mean, if you look at the technicals, you've got sort of a 200-day moving average, you've got nice solid support. I don't think there's much downside risk on, on ShopRite, but I'm just struggling to see where the catalyst is to go and, and, and get investors to buy this thing up through through to the next level but is this not a buying opportunity now like mm. you would have if you had bought these in 2013 you would have been down slightly on the stock mm. <coughs> it has paid some dividends uh, throughout the years um, but you know they, they in terms of uh, they're buying properties in, in many of these African regions and building shopping malls and they are going to be the most aggressive in in, in capturing that African mm. consumer where We've got growth of five and a half percent. No, for sure. And, and I mean, the growth is off, off a very low base uh, in Africa as well. So I think it's got a long way to go. I mean, if, you, if you're looking at ShopRite over 10 years, perhaps you could make an argument. But but for us, you know, to hold ShopRite over the next three three years, I mean, you, you mentioned the dividend. Uh, it, it does pay, you know, a decent dividend yield. All, all the dividend yields on these these uh, guys are, are pretty similar. I mean, they're all sitting between sort of, you know, two and a half, three percent, somewhere they around there. They are quite a strong portion of their earnings, but mm. because the valuations are quite high, the actual yield isn't great. It, it is low. But I mean, like I said, like the, 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 those dividend yields are all, all pretty comparable. And, and what I'm getting at is I think you can get uh, almost a better prospect in some of the other retailers. No, nothing, nothing wrong with ShopRite. I mean, operationally very, very strong. Um, but yeah, I think I think going forward, uh, we've got better better prospects for us. So hot or not, I think you're leaning uh, towards I, I not hot. I can't go hot <laughs> on shop right now. I'm going to disagree with you on this one. Mm. I'm going to go with hot because I do like the business. I like the management team. Obviously, Christo Visa heavily involved there. And who knows? Maybe one day there'll be some kind of uh, approach from Steinhoff to bring it into mm. that huge <laughs> global <laughs> retailer that they're aiming mm. towards. Mm. Um, and I think this presents a bit of a buying opportunity in a company, company that's inherently expensive so I'm gonna go with hot with shop right